Welcome to the League of Legends patch preview. I'm Freak, and in this video, I'll be discussing some of the balance changes coming into the next patch for League of Legends. This patch is pretty light in terms of game balancing. We'll be using this patch for a few upcoming tournaments, so we want to make sure we don't throw in anything groundbreaking. We do have a number of bug fixes and tweaks in store, but not all of these will be discussed in the video. Let's get to it. First off, Lee Sin is getting a slight nerf. He's been dominating games at really high levels recently. New champions who are very complex tend to follow this timeline. As players become experts with a champion, they eventually outperform other champions once players learn all their tricks. We're just toning down pieces of him that are not in line with champions with comparable abilities. The first nerf is lowering the attack damage ratio on Sonic Wave slash Resonating Strike by 0.1, as the combined 2.0 ratio was just too high for such a low cooldown ability. The second is reducing Safeguard's range by 50, which lines up with similar abilities like Leap Strike and Shunpo. Ultimately, Lee Sin's playstyle and tricks are awesome, but his numbers are just a little too high, so this should give him appropriate number balance. Misfortune has a small quality of life buff in store. Her ultimate, Bullet Time, will scale off of both attack damage and ability power, instead of just the higher of the two. It's possible that Hybrid Misfortune becomes a strong build, but the main goal here is to make all of her stat gains feel worthwhile. Next up is Morgana. She has two small nerfs in store. First, her passive, Soul Siphon, is going to give her slightly less spell vamp. This nerf is aimed at her early game sustain, where she simply drops a minion wave with Tormented Soil and heals just a bit too much from it. The second nerf is a 0.1 AP ratio decrease on Black Shield. This is a really cool ability, but when she builds as a mage, her support power is a little too strong. However, because we're nerfing the AP ratio and not any of its functionality, if you do play full support Morgana, you won't feel this nerf at all. Singe has a couple of minor nerfs as well. We're reducing the duration that the cloud from Poison Trails stays on the map. Right now it's out there for three and a half seconds, and in this patch it's being lowered by a fraction of a second. Players used to get poisoned by an invisible poison cloud, so now it just matches the visuals. The second nerf is shaving off a bit of crowd control reduction on later ranks of the ultimate, Insanity Potion. It's still an awesome buff, but he's just a little bit too slippery when combined with items like Mercury Treads. Tarek is getting a nice buff. We're lowering the cooldown on his ultimate, Radiance, to 60 seconds flat. Prior to the Tarek remake, Radiance's cooldown was so short that it could turn it on for small objectives like Dragon or enemy turrets. By lowering the cooldown, we want to recapture that feeling. Thanks for tuning in to the League of Legends patch preview. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel up top, and give us a thumbs up if you liked this video.